problem, uh, that's a C. So you're given the vertices and the foci. So ladies and gentlemen, for a parabola, for a ellipse, every single thing that I told you guys to do is always when given amount of information and you need to write the equation, all right, to do this, you have to plot the information to determine what type of equation are you going to write. Are you going to write an equation where your transverse axis is horizontal, or are you going to write an equation where your transverse axis is vertical? So the first thing we need to do is plot this information. We don't need to graph it, but we want to plot it to determine what type of hyperbola are we looking at. So a verse is at negative 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 comma 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So those are your two vertices. All right. Um, now, just knowing those are two vertices, we know the transverse axis, the center, the foci, and the vertices all lie on the transverse axis. Just knowing now what our two vertices are, is our transverse axis going to be horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. So therefore, we can write the equation as x minus h squared minus y minus k squared over a squared minus b squared. So you guys need to know that's different than the last problem that we did, right? It's different because now our, our transverse axis is horizontal. Now we also notice that the center is halfway in between our two vertices. So our center is going to be right here. All right, And since we now know our center, we can now determine what a and our b are going to be. All right, So our a is going to be that distance right from the center to the vertice. So we can say a, in this case, is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, Then they say c. Our c is going to be the square root of 26, which if you plug in your calculator, is going to be 5.123, whatever, somewhere around there. So we know that c is going to equal the square root of 26. However, for our equation, ladies and gentlemen, we need to figure out what b is, right? So does anybody remember the relationship of a, b, and c for our hyperbola, yes? Close. There's two of them, right? Which one represents an ellipse, and which one goes with the hyperbola? Yes? Yeah, think of hyperbolas as like we kind of the same form as like our Pythagorean theorem. So it's going to be c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So therefore, I need to figure out what b squared is, right? So I plug in c, so that would be the square root of 26 squared equals a squared, which is 25, plus b squared. Well, the square root of 26 squared gives you 26 equals 25 plus b minus 25, minus 25. 1 equals, sorry, b squared. Take the square root. So therefore, we now know b equals 1. So now I know what b is, I know what a is, and we can determine our center is 0, comma 0. So to write the equation, I don't need to write x minus 0, right? Can I just write x squared, please? Yes? OK. So I can write x squared over a squared, which is 25, minus y squared over 1 equals 1. And then you don't need to really write the over 1 either, but to help you see where it's at. So you can ask me a question in a second. Let me shut the video. No question?